Walmart got a lot of attention today with some big reductions, not in prices, but in health benefits. Part-time employees it hires in the future will not qualify for health insurance if they work less than 24 hours a week. And that's not all. Wyatt Andrews tells us America's largest private employer is also raising premiums for full-time workers. I've already decided that I, I can't afford it. Walmart department manager Gershrila Green makes $9.80 an hour, but says she simply can't afford the 50% rate hike the company is asking for health insurance. We have to end up choosing between food and bills and health insurance, which we shouldn't have to be thinking about working for one of the largest retailers in the world. According to employee groups, Walmart is now asking for premium rate hikes that will spike upward 20 to 60 percent depending on the plan. Company contributions to health savings accounts will be cut in half, and new part-time employees won't get insurance at all. Walmart, in a statement, blamed rising health costs, calling the cuts and increases all choices we wish we didn't have to make. However, health care costs are expected to rise around 5.5 percent next year, and health care analyst Larry Levitt says Walmart is asking for premium increases that far exceed that. This is really out of sync with what's going on in the rest of the health insurance system. This looks like an effort by, by Walmart to cut their costs and shift expenses to their employees. I'm going to go without insurance or either apply for county Medicare. I mean, I have children. According to a survey of businesses, almost half will ask employees to pay more for health care next year. But experts do not expect price hikes as steep as Walmart's. They see Walmart, the company known for rolling back prices, making a business decision to roll back benefits. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, New York.